I haven't passed by already, amigo. Well, well soon enough, El Toro. That looks like the nut from a large wagon wheel. We must have passed here already. We better burn leather or people will be staying at Kit Carson with a sleep on the job. Gentlemen, and what's the idea? You almost had a wreck. Who says so? You lost an axle nut back down the road. Well, how do you know it's ours? Take a look at your back wheel. Holy smoke! We could have all been killed. You would have been if you hadn't made all your turns on this side. Now, the reason I didn't pull up when you told me, we were warned not to stop. We were tipped off that somebody was trying to keep this coach from getting to Monterey. I got the same tip. Well, I sure am obliged to you, stranger. The name is Carson. Kit Carson. Kit Carson? Am I dreaming or did... Well, bless my soul, it is Kit. Major Fowler. <laughs> when I heard your name, I thought for a moment I was back with General Fremont. It was always a pleasure to serve under you, Major. State Senator now. I'm representing the farmers of San Joaquin Valley. What in the world are you doing here? A oh, little job that might interest you. Well, here's my partner. Major, I'd like you to meet El Toro, my friend. Hello there. Mucho gusto. Well, if you have a partner, Kit, the job must be important. It is, and you're it. Uh, Major, from here on in, you're going to have yourself a couple of nursemaids. <laughs> At my age? Now, we were sent down here to see that you got through to Monterey. After what happened, I think somebody don't want you to go. Well, I do have enemies. Well, you just name them, senor. El Toro make the job easy. How? Oh. Well, I go up to them and I say, Algunos de los mineros son canallas, son sinvergüenzas. Then the fight starts. The job is finished. And you can't fight every gold miner in California. They are your enemies? Por qué? Because of a bill I introduced, outlawing hydraulic mining. So that's why they called a special session at Monterey. It's all over, but the final count. Oddly enough, I have the deciding vote. That's the way the wind is blowing. Uh -huh. Take a look over there, Kit. What do you see? Nothing but sand and gravel, all washed down from the gold diggings in the hills. A few years ago, it was one of the greenest spots in central California. Wouldn't grow cactus now. The farmers in my district are being ruined by floods of rock and gravel, while the miners are becoming wealthy. So naturally, they want to keep you from voting tomorrow. Yeah, they said they'd fight to the finish. But they've forgotten I'm an old soldier. You may run into trouble tonight at the halfway house. Huh? Well, don't you worry, senor. What kid don't take care of, El Toro does very well. What he means is he's a devil with the ladies. A pretty widow owns the halfway house. <laughs> the widow Gonzalez. All ready, gents. Oh, good. See you at the halfway house. Huh?
Find you a hand down, Major? I mean, Senator? Yeah, thanks, Kip. How's the lake, sir? Oh, fine compared to what it used to be. Remember that army sawbones that patched me up after the Battle of San Gabriel? Yeah. <laughs> Told me I'd never walk again. I guess he didn't know you, sir. Well, shall we go in? Pardon, senor. Uh, I'm looking for the head hustler. Uh, Lil Pete, they call him. I'm Little Pete. What do you want? Where can I stable my horses? Put them in the corral. The stable's full. Welcome, senores. Do you wish a room? Uh, you take care of it, kid. I, uh, I'd like to sit down. This way, senor. Senator Fowler. Senator Fowler? My house is honored. I'd like adjoining rooms, one for the senator and one for myself and a friend. Here you are, room seven and eight, off La Galleria. Thanks. Tom Fowler. How are you? Still able to take my rations. Mm-hmm. Kit Carson, I want you to know Jim Wade. Always glad to meet a friend of the senator's. Hello. Friend. He's my worst enemy. Oh, but Tom, that's water over the dam. I know when I'm licked. Tomorrow your bill's gonna be passed and I'll be out of business. But still a rich man. Well, I can't complain, but I sure feel sorry for the other boys. The miners have had their chance. Senator, you're passing a death sentence on California's richest industry. Look at the men in this room. They're all going to die broke. Many of farmers already died broke. Broke and hungry. Can't you reconsider? We could think something the out. The time for compromise has come and gone. But Tom... The answer's no. That's final. Well, I'm sorry we can't see eye to eye. You can't blame a man for trying. I'll see you around. Senor. Oh, gracias. Oh, no, you sign, senor. Oh. <laughs> I see that my friend has already signed. I am El Toro. El Toro? Not the great, the famous El Toro? Your humble servant, senora. I am with Senator Fowler and Kit Carson. Oh, and I am the widow Gonzalez. Oh, the lovely widow Gonzalez. It is an honor, senor. Uh. <laughs> and did you know I wouldn't tell a thing? Que quieres? You let a couple of our horses out of the stable, didn't you? Of course, amigo. I make room for the horses of myself and Senor Carson. You know, they're very fine animals. Well, the horses you turned out were needed to haul a wagon of corn to the mill. What? Tomorrow we have no corn meal, no tamales, no tortillas. That wagon's going to the mill, and this guy's horse is going to pull it. You pull them yourself. On. Oh. A thousand pardons, senora. As I was Why? saying... Gee, so many interruptions here. Uh, I can't be the best. Listen.
Are you hurt, sir? Not at all, thanks to you. Thanks to El Toro and his flying vase. That I learned from my mama Sita. At 20 pesos, she never misses my old father. I hope she didn't teach you to shoot a gun that straight. You know, this little fracas could have been serious if I hadn't have broken it up. I don't know whether to thank you or not. Well, suit yourself. I believe in fair play, which you might have noticed. It all depends on where you're sitting. The senator had a box seat, and he down here got killed for just being here. Why, I wouldn't let anything happen to my old friend Tom. That's why I stood by. From here on in, don't bother. El Toro and I'll stand by. Well, I don't think he could be in better hands. Goodbye, gentlemen. From here on in, we better take better care of the senator if we want to get him to Monterey tomorrow. Jimmy, we stand guard at this door tonight. I take the first watch, and then you take over at midnight. And I hope I don't have to wake you up. Come in. All is well, Senator? Yes, Toro. Thank you. At your service, Senator. Maria, Josefina, Carmencita, Maria, Olga, Juanita, Mary. For me? Si, sí, senor. Oh, you are too good. But you must be very tired. El Toro is never tired. Oh, you must be very hungry. Delicioso. This I will enjoy just as soon as I am off duty. Oh, but I bring it for you to enjoy right away. I am on duty, Senora Gonzalez. My name is Cristina. Uh, but you, <laughs> you may call me uh, Tina. <laughs> A privilege, Tina. <laughs> that is better. And now, will you send your Tina away without tasting the work of her very own hands? <laughs> Muy bueno! You have fashioned a miracle out of cornmeal and beef with these little hands. And pepper, senor. Tell me something, querido. Is it true that you are the greatest ladies' man in all California? Only the second best. <laughs> My old father is still the most gallant ladies' man in all California. <laughs> Stage leaves for Monterey in half an hour. Senator Fowler, open the door. Oh, wait, I, I have a key. He's gone. The senor had to eat. He probably went to breakfast. The senator couldn't have gotten out of this room without El Toro me seeing him. You don't know, but we guarded this room all night. But she does know it. She brought in my supper while I was on guard. That's when the senator was kidnapped. Kidnapped? The senator couldn't go any place without this cane. He was too crippled to get through that window unless he was taken through. An unfinished letter. 
The bed not slept in. The light's still burning. It all points to abduction. I do me. Wade, maybe you can throw some light on this. Me? My dear Carson, if you knew my reputation for fair play, you wouldn't ask that question. All right, if you're so innocent, help us find him. Madre de Dios, I hope he's still alive. I hope so. Because if he isn't, they'll put another senator in his place and cast a vote for the opposition. We may have differed politically, but Tom Fowler was my friend and I'm going looking for him. I'll need my horse at once. Si, senor, enseguida. Just a minute. Well? I'd like the coach to be delayed for Monterey for a while. The coach must leave on time, senor Carson. Surely you can delay the coach until we look for the senator. I am very sorry, but I must obey company rules. Suppose if I follow this team, hombre, we will be led to the senator? Ah, he's too smart for that. All I tried to do is get rid of him. And luckily, he fell for it. Oh, my God, I... Don't worry, I'll find the senator. It won't take me long to do it. But how can you be so sure? Well, last night, there was a wagon load of corn outside, ready for the mill. This morning, it's gone. I see it. Now, they have to take away a crippled man who cannot ride a horse, so they throw him on the corn wagon. They forgot they were dealing with an old army man. And he can leave a trail of corn. Andale, we follow it. I follow him. You've got a job to do here. Figure out some way to delay the coach for Monterey until we can get the senator on it. Oh, seguro. El Toro will find a way. You leave it to myself. What's the matter now? Well, the accident. not. Again, she's gone. Come, I'll help you look for it. Never mind. This time we're carrying a spare. back of you. Get off your horse. Lift your coat. Without a gun, you won't need a belt. Drop it. Put your hands behind your back. Now, all ready to roll. Oh, 
Oh, I thought he was a stupid fool. But he thought of everything. Kill me, Pete. So, Wade told you not to talk, huh? Well, the least you can do is bring me a drink of water. I merely shot coyotes like you. Maybe I ought to use this now. Kind of you, Pete. I only wish Jim Wade was helping me on the other side. You can have Jim's help any time you want it. He's tied to a tree down the road. I guess El Toro convinced him to hold the stage for you. Same old kid. Hola, por por Monterrey! Nice work, Toro. 